Welcome to this tutorial about the computer-based instrumentation unit. This video will introduce two instruments that can be found in this function, the phaser and harmonic analyzer. You can get access to those instruments by clicking on the icon here and here in the LVDAC window. Let's first take a look at the phaser analyzer. Very simple to use. This instrument is useful when you need to see the actual phase sequence of a single phase or three phase system. On the right side, in the column, you can choose which signal you want to see on the grid. Every current and voltage input of the 9063 can be seen in the phaser analyzer at the same time. Two scales can be set, one for the current inputs and another for the voltage inputs. The reference phaser option here is used to select which signal will be the reference and centered with the zero degree line here. All important data of a selected input will be displayed here under the grid for quick access. Finally, don't forget to hit the single refresh or continuous refresh button here to display the data. As you can see, in less than 30 seconds, I'm ready to study a phase sequence of a motor both in current and voltage. Now let's see how the harmonic analyzer works. This instrument is as simple to use as the phaser analyzer. On the top left of the window here, you get access to basic options and settings such as background and line colors. Important options are all listed here in the right column. The first step is to set the fundamental frequency. You can choose between network, user, or automatic. The first one will use the frequency selected when you open Delvi DAC. User will let you select the fundamental frequency as you want, and automatic will let the harmonic analyzer find the fundamental frequency for you. The next step is to choose the input you want to analyze from the list. Here, I simply choose E1, then I set the number of harmonics I want to see to 30. Finally, the scale option allows you to choose between the various types of data and helps adjust them so they are easy to see on the grid. If you want more precise reading of the data, you can rely on two cursors that you can add to the grid using the option here. Both vertical and horizontal cursors are available. These cursors can be moved using the arrows here or simply with your mouse by a click and maintain action. Again, don't forget to click on the single refresh or continuous refresh button if you want to see the results. And that's it for the harmonic and phase analyzer.